Okay, so there's a little binomial thing that came up on an online course I was doing. Um, if we just uh, get a few uh, lines of Pascal's triangle going, so if you just want to work this out, um, now you can see what we're doing. Just uh, if you want to pause it into yourself, that's fine. Um, okay, all right, so say we take this line here what fraction would you need to, to get the next number? What fraction do you need to multiply by to get the next number? So you start off with 1, um, and then to get to 4, well, the fraction you would multiply by would clearly be 4 over 1. Okay? Now, if you then want to get um, across to get to 6, um, what fraction will you multiply by to get from 4 to 6? So, well, okay, it's going to be 3 over 2 and then what fraction would you multiply by uh, to get to 4 well that's going to be 2 thirds and what fraction would you multiply by to get to 1 well that's got to be 1 over 4 and what do we notice about these numbers here they are digit reducing by 1 and these numbers are increasing by 1 um, so that's kind of fascinating isn't it can you try that for the next line please okay so just pause it and have a go at working out what the fractions are going to be across here what will you multiply by so pause it now and have a go all right and here's our answers so um, to get from 1 to 5 times by 5 over 1 to get from 5 to 10 you're going to multiply by 4 over 2 to get from 10 to 10 and multiply by 3 over 3 to get from uh, 10 to 5 multiply by 2 over 4 to get from 5 to 1 we're going to multiply by 1 over 5 and we can notice that we are multiplying by um, the numbers the fraction multiplying by the numerator is reducing by 1 each time and the denominator is increasing by one each time, which is uh, fascinating, isn't it? Okay, um, and that certainly does work. Uh, if you want to try the next uh, on the next row, you could. Uh, but how about the end? How about row n? So we have one. So clearly, the, the next one is going to be n. So for that, you'd definitely have to multiply by n over one. Okay, so can you pause it and try and work out? the next few uh, terms in the nth row of Pascal's triangle. So our next one we're going to have to multiply by n minus 1 over 2. So that's going to give us n, n minus 1 over 2. Well, 2 times 1 I guess we could say. And then our next one, well now we'd have to multiply by n minus 2 over 3. So that would give us n n minus 1, n minus 2, all over um, 3 factorial. And then obviously the next one, uh, we would then multiply by n minus 3 over 4. Uh, so that would then give us n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, all over for factorial and there you go and that's just how you could work out the nth row of Pascal's triangle which of course would be very useful for binomial expansions and also for binomial probabilities. This is a little thing I thought I'd share with you. I hope you liked it.